Hello, my name is Sean, and this is Go. And on today's episode, I want to do something I haven't done in a long time, and that's talk about rumors going on in the car industry. And there's been a pretty big rumor going around that Remac is going to purchase Bugatti from Volkswagen. Now, if you're like me, you're probably wondering how's that going to go down when Bugatti is basically worth more than Remac and I don't want to get into the many details of how the purchase would happen if it were to happen I just want to talk about a few things that I could potentially see going on for some of the other supercars hypercars in Volkswagen's wheelhouse now there's something that you might not know um Porsche actually owns about 15% of Remac. Now, that's not a whole lot, but that is enough to tell you that these guys have been in business with each other for a while. Also, uh, Remac makes the electric components for a lot of cars, such as uh, Koenigsegg with the Regera. Uh, Pinaferina with the Batista and I'm sure they've done a few things with Porsche itself okay let's say the deal does go down what does that mean for Bugatti in Remac does it become an all-electric hypercar or does it become a different uh, brand for Remac because they already have an electric hypercar and they don't want that competition does it stay uh, gas powered what changes with Bugatti does it become a hybrid we don't know yet I don't even think this is gonna happen but just saying for the sake of the video what would happen to Bugatti I think Bugatti I think Bugatti is doing perfect in the hands of Volkswagen I don't think the brand could be any better than it's been in the last hundred or so years uh, I think change it to a different brand could ruin what Volkswagen has built, but they think it's time to invest in new projects and getting out of Bugatti might do that. So I'm thinking that Volkswagen and Porsche are going to elevate Lamborghini if they get rid of Bugatti. And they've made a lot of one-off cars, which means they're probably trying to make enough money to invest in something different. And I think uh, the elevation of Lamborghini might be happening if they sell Bugatti. And they might even elevate Porsche, even though I do think the overall sales of Porsche would pretty much make that a uh, no-go. But we see what's going on with Lamborghini right now. It might be uh, time for Lamborghini to have a true hypercar. And if... If Volkswagen invest in Lamborghini like they did with the Bugatti, it'll basically be over for everybody else because the fandom for Lamborghini is so much higher than Bugatti's. I don't care what you say, Bugatti's an excellent fast car, but it's not have the same name recognition as a Lamborghini. It just doesn't. Now, I said a few months back that as long as Volkswagen owned Bugatti, we would never see a true Lamborghini hypercar. Now, if they actually sell Bugatti, I can see the next Aventador replacement being a true um, Chiron level hypercar. I think that the fact that they might be selling Bugatti shows why they've been coming up with one off. Bugatti um, specials to sell to buyers. I don't know if Remax is going to be able to hold Bugatti up to those standards. They might go belly up both companies and Volkswagen will slide in and buy both Remax and Bugatti and have them both under the same umbrella. I know that's a little corporate, uh, you know, fiction, fan fiction, whatever you want to call it, movie type stuff. But I can see something like that happening in the future because I've seen stuff like that happen all the time. And I just wanted to put the scenario out there so I could say, I told you so. So you'll know I was ahead of the curve in the way I'm thinking. I know I sound a little crazy most of the times, but 
you know, I did say that there wouldn't be a hypercar in Lamborghini as long as Bugatti was there. And if they get rid of Bugatti and Lamborghini gets elevated, then that means I was correct. But then again, this sale might not even happen. It might just be a rumor that some fans seen online and ran with it. And since I don't have anything to do and I haven't done a golden opportunities in a while, I thought that this would be the perfect opportunity for me to run my mouth about expensive cars I can't afford or expensive business dealings I can't even remotely comprehend. But let's get to the point of this video and why I make them. <laughs> Is Volkswagen missing this golden opportunity by selling Bugatti. I think Volkswagen has done all they can do with Bugatti. They're so expensive that only a few of them can sell. And I don't even know if they make a hundred million dollars a year. And I don't know how much it costs to develop one of these cars for the market. It might cost more than they ever, ever, ever make. And with that said, if they brought out a more affordable Bugatti, that would probably tarnish the brand, even if that car was a million dollars itself. And let's not forget the fact that the Veyron basically started around a million dollars. I think that would probably do more damage than good. But if it moves on to Remax, they won't have to worry about that. And they might make all the money they spent building that Bugatti brand up. Now, I think the opportunity in selling this would be to either elevate Lamborghini to hypercar status or elevating a part of Porsche to hypercar status. I don't know. So I'm going to say, yeah, I think Volkswagen should probably sell Bugatti and elevate the Lamborghini. I'm not a Bugatti or Lamborghini fanboy. I more prefer Porsche in a sense they're more my style but I think the time for a true Lamborghini hypercar is now even though they are still in the same stratosphere as Ferrari I think if Lamborghini elevates higher Ferrari's gonna have to step their game up and that would be better for all of us but then again <laughs> what does that say for Lamborghini who just brought out a SUV and all that stuff so they might not even elevate them they might keep them where they're at and start off with a, another old brand from way back in the way back who knows or they might just keep it so yeah I don't know I'm just saying just my thoughts uh, me just rambling and running my mouth if you enjoy these videos uh, like so always appreciate it subscribe if you haven't already and uh, with that said, I like to bring the video to a close. So, if you like the video, like the video. If you dislike the video, dislike the video. If you want to see what I got planned next, come see what I got planned next. Got a store for this channel. Really want you guys to be there with me. With that said, I'll catch you later.